Hey everyone, welcome to 3dmotive.com tips and tricks video. My name is Pranik, I'm a character animator, and I'll be your instructor for this tips and tricks tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to create slow motion within Maya scene without actually shifting or scaling keys in the time slider. What I have here is a mocap clip of a guy playing basketball and a bit of camera animation just to show that when a particular part of the action in the timeline say from 13 to 19 needs to be in slow motion rather than scaling the keys in the timeline to slow it down we can use this neat little trick to actually slow down the whole scene including the lights, the camera and or whatever effects there is. In Maya 2012 and above they integrated a function called scene time warp. This function creates a global graph for the whole scene that is open in the interface which means when I hit add scene time warp it creates a single curve for the whole scene here in Maya's graph editor which can also be accessed from windows animation editors graph editor right now when I play back the animation we can see that it's playing at a very high speed so in order to make the animation move in a more naturalistic way let's add a scene time warp to it Here in the graph editor, we can see that this one curve available to us, which represents everything that's in the whole scene, including the animation, the lights, the effects, and so on. This one little curve gives us control over the whole scene. For instance, if we were to increase the speed of uh, increase the speed of the animation, all we have to do is move this end of the graph a little above, and and when we play back the animation now we will see that the whole animation is playing even faster than what we had before. Similarly, when we need to slow it down, we do the quite opposite of what we did and bring the bring this end a little bit down. Now we can see that the animation is playing in a pretty natural way. Okay. To add the slow motion at the point of the animation, say, for example, we need to slow him down right about here at frame 21, okay? We want the slow motion happening right about at 21, or 19 maybe, and then till 25 there will be a slow motion happening, and then he will come back to his normal position after that. So what we do is we have to create two keys at one at around at 17 and one around at 27 and put a put another key just in between just to get the right amount of slow motion for this guy okay let's select this go to insert key tool middle mouse put a key there at 16 and about at 27 put another key there and then we see that nothing has changed till now because we haven't made any changes in the curve here so we need the animation to have a slow motion right about it for example 19 or 20 so let's put a key at 19 alright there you go now all we need to do is move this key a few more frames here just to get the see animation the slow motion for the whole scene so let's select this or select this here and move it a little bit so what we see is we kind of see a dent happening here this dent is necessary for this slow motion to occur so now when we play back, we will see a bit of slow motion happening right there. If we want to increase this, we can shift shift this keys a little bit and play back. So without even tweaking the actual keys of the character, the camera, and whatever there is in the scene, we slowed it down. By this way, whenever there's a 
very heavy scene which requires slow motion at a certain point or slow motions in fight scene, the scene time warp can be very useful. So there you go. A neat little trick to create slow motion or fast motion for your scene. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Graffiti Motive.com.